In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the ASCII character code set um, and a couple of instructions in BASIC, in QBASIC, which will let us um, view the ASCII codes and use the ASCII codes in our, uh, in our analysis. So I've just got a quick REM statement at the beginning here. Um, uh, I've got, uh, I've assigned the letter A into the variable called C$. Dollar. In fact, what I'm just going to do, yeah, most programs, you should always start off with a clear screen at the very beginning. Um, so I've got uh, assigned the, the letter A into C$, dollar, and I'm just going to print that letter out. So if I run the program, let's have a look and see what comes out. Here it is. It just says letter A. So it's just literally printed that letter A for me. Now, if I type in the following, so if I say C equals ASC brackets C$, dollar, so this is a function, ASC, which you put a string variable in, okay, or an individual letter, and it will return the ASCII code for that character. And in this case, it's going to put it into the variable C. So what I need to do now is print out that number. So print ASCII code, and then the, the, the value in the variable called C. So let's run that. And we can see that the letter A has got the ASCII code 97. So if I change my letter to B and then run the program, the letter B has got the ASCII code 98. Uh, and in fact, C's got 99 and so on and so on. So let's try it out to the letter Z and uh, run that one. And we can see that the letter Z has got the ASCII code 122. So that's all quite useful. Um, let's just take a look at the uppercase character set. So the letter capital A has got the ASCII code 65, capital B would be 66, capital C would be 67, and so on. So I leave it to you to find out what capital Z would be. So that's all very useful. Now we can also use that information and turn it back into a letter again. So if we know the ASCII code of a, of a letter, we can print it out directly. D dollar equals now it's C H R dollar and then take the number, the ASCII code number, and now if I print next letter um, D dollar. <clears throat> so what I've done here is taken the um, taken the ASCII code that we had here turned it back into a letter, put it into a variable called D, and I'm printing that letter out. So let's see what happens when I run this program. And, oh, here we go. Look, I've got my letter going in. I turn it into a, an ASCII code, turned it back into a letter, and I hit presto. So what we can do is, um, instead of putting the same uh, character, or turning, turning the same ASCII code into the same character, if I change my code here and add one to the ASCII code before putting it into the next letter. What we should get is a printout of the next letter. So let's run that program and see what happens. Here we go, letter A, ASCII code 65, next letter is B, because we've converted the ASCII code 66 back into a letter, which is obviously the letter B. Now, let's have a look here. If I go to the end of the alphabet, Z, um, and then I run that program, the letter Z, an ASCII code of 90, but the ASCII code 91 is actually an open square brackets. So I've got to be a little bit careful uh, when I'm using this process. I've got to make sure, I've got to check to see whether I'm beyond uh, the, the end of the letters, in which case I'm going to get funny characters coming out. So I'm not going to tell you how to overcome that, but that's something that you're going to have to deal with in your program when you're doing your code breaking. Okay, I hope that was useful, um, and good luck with coding your ASCII characters in your file, in your code breaking program.